Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice exponential equation. We've done similar problems before, but this one actually has a different flavor, which I'll tell you later. I'm also going to show you a graph that kind of explains what we found. So we have 2 to the power x squared times 7 to the power x to the fourth equals 14. And we're going to be solving for x values, real and complex. Do you think there are any real solutions? Do you think there are any complex solutions at this point? Kind of jot down your guesses and let's get started. You probably found some obvious solutions, um, some trivial solutions, I should say, right? But let's go ahead and ignore them. And I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to use kind of like a exponential approach as much as possible. And then we'll use a little bit of logarithms. So I want to write this as follows. Since 14 is 2 times 7, I, I want to break it down that way. And then put the powers of 2 together and put the powers of 7 together. In other words, divide uh, left hand side by 2. That gives me 2 to the power x squared minus 1. And then divide the right hand side by 7 to the power x to the 4th. And it's going to give me 7 to the power 1 minus x to the 4th. Careful, because 7 is on the right hand side. Make sense? So this is an equation that's actually really helpful because now we, what we can do is try to manipulate the exponent so we can get some obvious solutions out of the way and then look for the not so obvious solutions. So here's how it goes. If you are familiar with difference of two squares, this is great. I'm going to factor one minus x to the fourth power using difference of two squares. And that gives me 7 to the power 1 minus x squared multiplied by 1 plus x squared. Awesome. Now, notice that x squared minus 1 and 1 minus x squared are opposites. So we can do a little bit of manipulation, some negation to get the same thing. Let's do it. Uh, I could probably do this. 2 to the power x squared minus 1 equals 7 to the power negative 1 times x squared minus 1 times x squared plus 1. I could probably write it that way now, right? And then, notice that we have x squared minus 1 on both sides. So, consider the following. If x squared minus 1 is equal to 0, which means if x is 1 or negative 1, then we're going to get 2 to the power 0 equals 7 to the power 0, and that's true because they're both equal to 1, which means these two are solutions. Awesome, right? 1 and negative 1. You probably knew that, right? Because if you replace x with 1, you're going to get 2 times 7 on the left-hand side. And obviously, negative 1 also works because x squared and x to the fourth are even powers. So that's the case. So now, but we're going to look for something that is a little deeper. And uh, here's what we can do. We can actually get rid of the x squared minus 1. Get it out of the way and then proceed with the other one. So Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out x squared minus 1. In other words, we're basically raising both sides to the power 1 over 1 over x squared minus 1. But notice that the negative stays, so it's going to negate x squared plus 1, or we're going to write the 7 as 7 to the power negative 1. Let's do that. So we get 2 equals 7 to the power negative 1 to the power x squared plus 1. Make sense? Okay, let's see how we can proceed from here. 7 to the power negative 1 is 1 over 7. So let's go ahead and write it as 1 over 7 to the power x squared plus 1. This is the time to get rid of the variable exponents. So we're going to use natural logs. So if you natural log both sides, then you're going to get something nice from here. Let's ln both sides like this and like that. You don't have to use parentheses, but sometimes it's helpful. And then the powers are going to move. So this is going to be x squared plus 1 times ln 1 over 7, which you can write as negative ln 7, right? But let's go ahead and try to isolate x from here. So I'm going to divide both sides by ln 1 over 7. x squared plus 1 is going to be ln 2 divided by negative ln 7. You can also put the negative here, which looks better. Now here's what we got. And now I want to get rid of the... I want to isolate the x, so let's subtract 1, and 1 would be, in this case, ln 7 over ln 7, so that we can make a common denominator real quick, right? And that's going to be the ln 7, so x squared can be written as negative ln 2 minus ln 7 
divided by ln 7. Wow. Notice that x squared is negative. But x squared cannot be negative if x is real. So x is not real. That's what it means. Here's one thing we can do. We can actually combine these two things. Negative of ln 2 plus ln 7 is negative of ln 14 because 2 times 7. Remember the how to condense logarithms with the product property. And then so this becomes negative ln 14 divided by ln 7. And then after you take the square roots, you're going to get the solutions. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we got x squared equals this, right? And let's erase this. And now we're going to proceed. Uh, from here, since this is a negative value, this one, right? I kind of need to use i because I can basically write this as a positive number times i squared because i squared is going to bring us negative 1. And when you take the square roots, consider the plus minus, you're going to get two solutions. One of them is going to be ln 14 over ln 7i. And the other one is going to be, you can call these x sub 1 and x sub 2, but 1 and negative 1 are also solutions. Remember that. Also, I guess we could use these x sub 3 and x sub 4. And the other one is just going to be the opposite. So those are going to be the complex, or should I say imaginary, solutions. Also consider the following fact before we get into the second method. I also want to talk about something nice. You could basically, you know, turn this into a, kind of like a quadratic equation, right? So you could basically do something like, you know, align both sides right away and then go from there. But let me go ahead and uh, proceed with the second method and because that'll give you a better idea. So we could just take this and L on both sides. This is a product, remember that. And from here, we can bring it down like this, kind of split it up first. And then this becomes x squared ln 2 plus x to the fourth ln 7 equals ln 14. And then from here, you can basically come up with a quadratic equation. Of course, you need to set x squared equal to another variable, let's say y. And this becomes y squared, that's what makes it quadratic. And then we get the following quadratic equation, ln 7 multiplied by y squared plus ln 2 multiplied by y minus ln 14 equals 0. And then use the quadratic formula. This is the fun part. Negative ln 2 plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac is going to give you 4 times ln 7 times ln 14. You have to square root all that. Good luck with that. And divide it by 2 times ln 7, which is 2a. Now, if you go ahead and work off of delta, ln 2 squared plus 4 ln 7 times ln 14 is going to give you something nice when you expand it. But first we're going to write this as ln 7 plus ln 2. And after distributing, let me just tell you, it's going to give you a perfect square, ln 2 plus 2 ln 7 squared. I kind of skipped that part, but hopefully you can figure it out, distribute everything, and then square root it. This is, I mean, not square root, but this is what you're going to get. Of course, we're going to square root it now. We're going to plug it in here for delta. So our y value is going to be negative ln 2 plus minus the discriminant, which is what I just found, right, divided by 2 ln 7. So once you simplify this, you're going to get the y values. Let's go ahead and do it. First of all, I'm going to use the plus sign, negative ln 2 plus ln 2 plus 2 ln 7 divided by 2 ln 7. Ln 2 cancels out, 2 ln 7 cancels out, and we end up with 1. y sub 1 is going to be 1, and then y sub 2, let's use the minus sign, minus ln 2, minus ln 2, minus 2 ln 7, divided by 2 ln 7. This gives you minus 2 ln 2, minus 2 ln 7, divided by 2 ln 7. If you get rid of all the 2s and negatives and all that stuff, you're going to end up with something nice, ln 14 over ln 7. So from here, y2 is going to be negative ln 14 because I combined these two things, divided by ln 7. Remember, y is x squared, so you're going to have to set this equal to x squared. x squared equals 1 is going to give you the real solutions. 
I'm also going to show you a graph at the end. And if you set this equal to x squared, just like before, we're going to get the exact same solutions, plus minus ln 14 over ln 7i. Okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what we, you know, found from the, uh, from the graph. And here's the graph, conveniently placed. And as you can see here, it only shows you the real solutions, but notice that this function is kind of like a parabola or some type of polynomial curve that's even. And then there is two intersection points and they're symmetrical. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.